Hello and welcome to the Bankers Tech Talk video series, tracking all the activities around the fintech community. We've been doing this now for five years and you can watch all previous episodes at thebanker.com slash tech talks. I'm Joy McKnight, Managing Editor of The Banker, and my guest this week is Sean Hunter, Chief Information Officer at Oak North, which targets lending to small and medium-sized enterprises. Sean, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, so how can you really uh, screen tens of thousands of applications at scale and at speed? Yeah, so this is the sort of heart of the platform. So our platform uses machine learning, data science, plus credit analysis expertise, including you know unconventional and previously unavailable data sets to enhance the humans so that the platform does all of the necessary stuff to bring all the data together, provide various insights, et cetera. And the credit analysts can provide the last mile um, and so on. And that allows our bank partners to provide the kind of bespoke deal structuring that they've typically only been able to do for sort of very, very high-end borrowers, but do it for smaller businesses, which en enables them to lend to them in a really dramatically different way. Okay. And obviously a big question right now around the COVID-19 pandemic and the gov government assistance that's happening for SMEs. You know, how do you think banks can really use both the technology and their staff to help um, disperse this assistance much, uh, much more quickly, I guess, and much more effectively? Yeah, so this is something we've been working on both in the UK and our own bank and with partners throughout the world because it's a really um, big topic. I actually wrote a blog post on this recently, like how you enhance humans by using technology rather than seek to replace them. Um, you know, when we talk to banks around the world, a lot of them have been really overwhelmed by the sheer scale of the challenge. They're getting sort of the amount of applications they would normally process in a year. They, they're having them in a period of weeks. You know, if you look at the US, the PPP and the Main Street lending programs, the, the amount of work that's involved has been incredible and banks have been uh, running staff in sort of 24 by seven shifts. But the fact is like they're, they're struggling against the kind of legacy IT and processes and so on, because this, this sector has never really been addressed adequately by technology. And so we've done a couple of different ways. So firstly, in a way, this is the core of what our platform was designed to do, this type of lending. Um, and so we've just enhanced it a little bit for these programs, specifically to help with the document collection, pre-screening of borrowers to make sure that they're eligible for the program, and then forgiveness of these loans. Because in the PPP, although it's structured as a loan, it's ultimately forgiven if the loan meets certain criteria. Um, and so we've built the end-to-end -end process for handling that so that there are the operational burden on the bank is much less. But it's important to realize that like the bank has to still be in, in charge of all the key decision making um, because ultimately they're the licensed entity, they have to do the risk management and so on. So, so we can provide assistance by providing analysis, providing insight, you know, and so on, but they ultimately have to make all the decisions um, so that they're in control. Okay. Um, and I know Oak North has developed this uh, COVID vulnerability um, rating framework. Can you tell us a little bit about that and also how it works? Yeah, it's kind of interesting because this is sort of the, the fruit of a lot of work we put into using data science to analyze businesses and understand credit, especially in the kind of small end and mid-market businesses. But it actually applies for all um all businesses. So when the COVID crisis started back in January, in the bank, we first developed this framework to look through all of our borrowers, try to understand which ones were vulnerable. And then, and, and we look at two different things. The first is the ability to withstand the crisis. And then the second is the ability to reboot post-crisis. And what we actually, the stresses we actually apply vary depending on sector because we model businesses into 1600 uh, very granular subsectors and we build out these domain specific models, which show how financial stresses um, work for different types of businesses. And so what we did in the UK, we first did it with all of our borrowers. And back in January, if you remember, it was like a supply chain focused problem. Mm -hmm. so the whole key question was how exposed are you to China in your supply chain? Um, 
And then as the crisis evolved, it changed to be more of a demand focused problem because you're mainly looking at, okay, when you've got a, an economy completely in lockdown and you've got a complete absence of demand in the economy, how does that affect businesses and their ability to withstand? Um, and obviously that varies enormously based on business type because if you've got it, say, a restaurant, you know, nobody's coming to your restaurant. So, you know, you've got no revenue, but you can shut down, uh, you can you can reduce furlough staff and so on. So you can shut down the cost side. But there are other kinds of businesses which they, they're they still carrying a lot of cost. They can't necessarily change that overnight. And so there's, you know, different responses. And so having done it for our bank, we were then able to adapt it and use it in banks, firstly for other banks who are already using the platform, but then we've since uh, extended it so that some banks who are not yet Oak North customers are able to use this framework on the basis of anonymized data um, to pre-screen and look for borrowers who have potential problems and so on. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for joining me, Sean. And thanks to our audience for listening.